Finally, out of the three people, three people that promised us album this year, Bona has finally fulfilled his promise. So he has finally dropped it. So, uh, so all of now we don't listen to the album. You guys can just tweet at me as Limity. You know, just tell me what's up with the album. What do you guys think? It was did it meet up to your expectation? Because some persons you say, Bona, it be overhyped this day. And then some people, as a matter of fact, so many people are actually loving the album. I love the album. I love Bona. I love this wonderful, and I love other songs even I don't do. So I know say I no go get disappointed if I listen to that one. I'm just trying to give myself the time. As a matter of fact, I intend to do that this weekend. So I am seriously anticipating hearing that album. I know it's not going to disappoint me. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, you already know 12 minutes already gone past the hour of war. They call me the slimmest of them all. I just needed to rush through all of the trending Gs and I still get more. Okay, let me tell you guys one for the road. So lighter, we, uh, Ola, who said lighter before? Olamide? Yes, Olamide been signed. You know, Olamide does this thing of signing guys for two, two years. Adegonle Gold was signed for two years. Uh, Liu Kesh was for two years. Chinkwe Kun was for two years. Victor, Victor was also for two years. So he go sign you for two years and go feel say, okay, after two years, if you don't blow me, that's your business. You know, he lets you go to go do your stuff. So for Lighter, I don't think it was up to two years, but I don't know what's going to happen between Lighter and Lamide, but he needed to let Lighter go. But guys, guess what? Lighter. If you guys, MCR, can you cue me a Lighter song? Please, just quickly cue me a Lighter song. So uh, then for yesterday, guess what? Though Lighter don't they move with Naira Mali for a while now. You know, and I remember when Lighter had been getting issues with Olamide, he even been tell people to make and beg Olamide because that time he had so much that was going wrong with him, you know. He, he, they, they expect so much from him. It wasn't like there was money. He had to, like, do a lot for his mom and stuff. And it was more like, okay, the world be actually the pity Lighter then. But nobody came up to sign him. Like, I knew David actually had expected doing something with him and all of that, but we didn't hear anything about him again. But then a couple of days back, even though me, I don't flow their gist on top of Instagram for a while because I know I most times see her with Naira Mali. They always say Mali house. If Mali do live video, you see like that for there. So anyways, on a confirmed note now, you guys can go to Naira Mali's page on Instagram to see that Naira don't officially sign lights. As a matter of fact, it's got a brand new video. I don't know if that video is going to go today, but I feel we should be able to give you guys something from Lighter today. But I know he has a brand new video. So he's officially under the Malians record right now. And yeah, it's what it is, but you know it goes. You know, so I'm just wishing him all the best and uh, everything good. Good music. I like a couple of songs that he don't drop, so I'm expecting nothing but the best from Lighter. So today on the show, we are going to be Skyping with somebody. He is our own, our own very own. You understand? If you watch our show every Tuesday, I think, okay, most times we chief anyway. You know, uh, you, we'd always talk something property matter. This is a serious business, so you know that. <laughs> and guess what? Yes, it's going to be starting something with the channel uh, very, very soon. So I'll be Skyping with Engineer Debo anytime from now. As a matter of fact, I think once I go on my break, the next time I come back, I'll be Skyping with Engineer Debo. And guess what? We'll talk about investment, we'll talk about properties, we'll talk about money. Why young people? You know, we feel, well, let me leave for dinner, Jared. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. You know, we don't really like to invest. We do not really like to save. We just want to spend for the now and just let the later take care of himself. So we're talking about why young people gas invest, why young people gas save. Financial institution, is it just for the elderly? Or even people like us, we can actually venture into it. We'll be talking about so much, so very much in a bit. So guys, I am not here alone. I got Mr. Matthew. I got Amy. I got Shell. I got David. And of course, I got brother, Kola, and of course, Vivian. So it's a full house. If you already know what I mean by that. What do you say this is? A thousand naira notes, money, currency, a means to an end, or an end in itself? Your answer to that question is a reflection of your financial exposure. Financial wisdom is the reason why a few have it all and most can do with lots more. My name is Debo Adejano, a financial coach, money subject matter expert, and a real estate entrepreneur of over 15 years. Now, I'll be hosting Total Financial Makeover every Wednesday on Web TV and other social media platforms.
welcome from 5.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. It is a call-in program designed to help you break free from every financial lockdown and give you access to financial freedom now and in the future, which is the most tricky part. Looking forward to answering your questions along with some of the guests that I'll be bringing next Wednesday. For advert placement on the show, this is the number to call. 817 you know, say the mistake where most of us they make eh? now waiting till we get to 40 or you get to 50 or you they feel say okay, your father has to wear it towns, so I don't need to walk. You understand? So you're not cheaty, like maybe you don't reach 45, because it's okay, but it's not the very for you, you start to worry. They start to they also. By that time, most times, most of the time, trust me, it always don't late. So I can tell you guys, same so everybody start something new. You already know, yes, our financial plan now. You understand? If you are missing that show, if you are going to be missing the show, I really don't know what to tell you, but I will advise you or not to miss it. So if Mr. Debo is ready, you guys can just hook me up with Mr. Debo like ASAP. Let's let's get this started because I want to know why we youth have to watch the show. You understand? I want to know why we have to start planning. You know, financial planning. What is it with it for the youth? Why is it that we get lazy when you say start saving? Is there somebody like Vivian now? Say, Vivian, do you save? You say, see me, do I need it? Well, let me just worry for the now, Jerry. You have somebody like Mr. Matthew. Okay, for Mr. Matthew, it could be a yes because he's a family man. But for somebody like Sean White and Sean Giga, they will tell you they know. You know, but as a family man, you know they don't need to tell you some things. Because by the time your children start calling, Daddy, buy all this thing. She's already want to tell them. I don't understand. And by the way, what do you intend to leave behind for them? It is just a simple truth. You know, but then for the youth, for the ones that, you know, they don't get responsibilities, they do not have anybody that they are catering for, and just about them and all of that. They just feel worse than me. Cannot come and die. I used to have that mindset. Trust me, I was that person that I just used to leave for the now. Like, I am more of an immediate person. Like, well, the future will take care of itself until. If I'm going to give kudos, I need to give kudos to Wap TV today because. Trust me, it was when we started money matter, in all of the money matter, legal matter, property matter, and I in my eye, can they exposed to some certain things. And I started planning on savings, I started thinking of investing and all of that. Okay, truly, I do not really wait till, I don't need to wait till a certain age before I will start to plan for my future, for my life. And the fact that I'm a woman does not mean I have to wait for a man. Like, okay, I need to get married before I will start saving or before I will start investing. So if Mr. Deborah is ready, I'll be Skyping with him in the bit. You already know him as our property matter. Let me call him a lecturer or a <laughs> or presenter, you know. Uh, of course, we chief and him, they always do every Tuesday from the hour of 8.30 to 9. And um, I'll be Skyping with him today already. I told you guys I'm going to be talking about easy new show. So while we are waiting for him, if you never connect, I'll go for a musical break. Oh, he's here. Mr. Zemba! <laughs> yo, 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 yo! Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Zemba, you're looking yeah, fresh. Though. I don't understand. Is it because I'm Skyping with you? It's like, this is a new is you. That... I, you're looking fresh. I don't know, from the ah, side. What, what will man do now? No, seriously, <laughs> are you sure this is you? Or you, you, you've cloned? I don't know. <laughs> this is me, oh. This is me. Oh. You know what? When you are COVID compliant, there you is some know. need that comes to it. So I don't have to rush down, try and avoid traffic and things like that to be in the studio. So What are you saying? So we, we mainlanders now, we are used to traffic, Abby. Is that what you are saying? <laughs> Funny enough, I'm actually on the mainland right now as I'm speaking to you. Oh, so. really? But anyway, no, this I'm is cool. Island. You know, uh, I think life is becoming very easy with uh, the aid of technology and the like. So this is I really tell nice. you. So, Mr. Debo, we are starting something new, right? Uh, anytime soon. But before we go dive into that, first off, can you introduce yourself? Uh, because I know I, I get to have new callers, new viewers every day on Top 5. So, Okay, great. So, my name is Debo Adejanum. Um, you can call me a real estate entrepreneur. But for this particular program... I'm your financial jailbreaker, escape crusader, the I, I, emperor of the stack your landlord dynasty. Eh? Uh, yes. Mr. Debo, they are coming yes. for you. <laughs> 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 the landlord association of Nigeria will come for you. I mean, this one just about seriously, seriously, this Thanks is this is different from the usual. This is different from what we've been having or what we've had every Tuesday or what we have, what we usually have every Tuesday, right? 
So let, let's talk yeah. more on this new uh, program that is coming up. What is it about? Uh, what should we expect? Especially the youth. Mr. Debo, especially the youth. Because... Youth, uh, 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 yes, sir? I said the youth, right? Yeah, especially the youth. Because you agree to the fact that I think we get laid back when, when you guys talk to us about investing, savings, and all of that. We just worry so much about the now. If you say now, our generation gets savings. You guys should save for us and then let's come and enjoy. So let's talk about the program. What is it about and what, why is it going to, what effect is it going to have on the youth? Okay, so um, the program, the full name is um, Total Financial Makeover, right? Okay. Total Financial Makeover. And the, the meaning or what it's trying to address is to help people reposition themselves financially. Okay. You know, what a lot of people don't know is that if you must enjoy your life, whether it's short or long, financial well-being is a must mm. if you decided to enjoy your life. But if you want to have life anyhow, well, fine. But if you've decided to enjoy your life, financial well-being is a must. Mm. And if you must have your financial thing in place, you must increase your level of financial intelligence. Okay or what some people call your financial IQ. Mm. Or, or, you know, you must, your, you, you just must become more conscious, mm. okay, about your finances. And that's what this program is all about. Particularly, you see, for a lot of people, I tell them that what they don't realize is that for people that are even working, when they start working, life is even easier. A lot of people appear to be well off when they are working. Mm. But if God blesses them with long life and they live long, by the time they retire, a lot of them, retirement is, is a colossal disaster. Hey, Mr. Adebo, you are speaking on you, Bo. No, I mean, for, for financially, for a lot of... I, I, I've had to study a number of retirees, you know, okay. over time. And the statistic that... A lot of retirees die within the first five years after retirement. Mm. It's not a joke. Hmm. It's a fact. Okay, so it's do you think that is actually due to the fact that they couldn't save up or maybe some health challenges or something? They wouldn't be able to cope with their financial requirements in, at retirement. And hmm. when you retrace it, it has to do with how they dealt with their finances while they, they were, were working. working. Yeah. So I tell people that the aim really the, the final goal of any financial plan is to enable you be able to sustain yourself when you won't be earning money anymore hmm. either by choice or by force because there will come such a time for every human being either by choice or by force you will not be earning money or at least not earning as much money or not actively any money as you used to at some time. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So what do you do now to ensure that you are well off now and your retirement is also not going to suffer? And when we talk about retirement to the youth, it looks like it's far-fetched. I mean, leave retirement. No, you know, years. you know. Ah. <laughs> but you see, when you sit down with people that are two, two, three years, five years to retirement, that's when they start to tell you the story of their life. And they will tell you something like, had I known, I would have started planning for my financial well-being and retirement the very first day hmm. I started work on my very best job. You know? So, for youth that really want to ensure that life does not catch them on awares, as it were, they really need to take their financial awareness, their financial intelligence, their financial consciousness, their financial IQ, they really need to take it serious at this time. And it is with programs like this. So we'll be talking about, I mean, things that has to do with your finances, what you should do with, where, where are you financially, for example? Because for you to go to point, for you to go from point A there must be, to yeah. point B, you must even know that this is where you are mm. before you start navigating your way to point B. If you don't know you are in point A, you probably will not know how to get to point B. Mm -hmm. So where are you financially? Where are you? You know, what what do you think money is? For a lot of people, they don't even know what money is. Okay, Mr. Well, let me ask you, what is money? Money is to be spent. Money. What is money? 
for me, money is to be spent. It's to be, I don't know. Is that money is to be spent, Abby? Yes, that's mm. money to me, man. <laughs> Why am I money working? You know, to live large. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, I'm working because I want to be okay now. If I, uh, so money is obviously to be spent. So what is money to you? So money is not to be made. Money is not to be made. Eh, she means what I'm making, I'm spending. I hear you. Money is not to be saved. Money is not to be invested. Okay. So money is not just to be spent. You know, there are a lot of these money is to be made, money is to be in invested, money is to be, yes, money is to be spent also, you know, money is to be saved, money is to, I mean, there are so many things you will do to money. Mm. The right concept of money in itself is even important. For a lot of people, they see money as th that paper note we carry all around. Thank God for cashless now. I think a lot of people are beginning to appreciate the the fact that life can go on without those naira loans. Yeah. They are living life, they are buying things, they are doing life. I mean, these days I hardly actually carry cash. I hardly. You can you can almost not find me with cash most of the time. I am now. I think I have just 100 naira in my pocket. Uh, I'm Sadebo. I'm, I'm telling you, and that has been so for like, okay, for like three days. No, for like two days. Before then, I think I had 300 naira. I spent 200 naira like day before yesterday, <laughs> you know, and that 300 naira has been in my purse for as long as I can remember. Do you understand? Yeah. But is it 300 naira that I've lived on for two weeks, for three weeks, no. even today? No. no. Hmm. But I've spent money. So money is not that naira note. It's not. It's not. But until you start having the proper knowledge, the proper perception, the proper view of money, it will be difficult for you to make it not to now talk of spending it. Mm. You won't make it as much as you should. Mm. You won't invest it as much as you should. You won't see the need to save it as much as, as much as you should. What you will probably see the need for is the easiest one, which is to spend it. Mm. And you would always be behind because mm. you will always be looking for what to spend. You will never have enough. Mm. Okay. So these are some of the things that I'll be discussing at that um, at this total financial makeover. I promise you to be a very fantastic. In fact, I will tell everyone, everyone, you know, you just need to, whether you are young, you are average age, you are old, you need to tune in every Wednesday from, from 5.30. 5 to 6. You I'm need to tune in every Wednesday from 5.30. Total okay. financial makeover. Let's, don't just make up. Don't just, you know, <laughs> let's make up your finances. Let's make up your account. <laughs> Let's, let's limit your life, you know? <laughs> Mr. Debo, you need to dive into comedy. Now, Mr. Debo, you spoke so much about the retirees and um, my yeah. own passion now for the youth. And like I said earlier, now because I don't get experience with, uh, you know, some youth, you have a couple of them either coming to you at the end of the month to solicit for fun, ask for this, ask for that. And at times it gets tiring because it is not like you have so much, but then you still need to, you know, help. And most times when you tell them that, okay, or you ask them, what do you do? They just tell you, okay, I do this, I do that. Okay, so do you save? It's always very hard for you to convince youth, you know, these days on savings and all of that. Now, and I know that to have a better future, I think the planning, it is start from now. So your program, Ba, like I asked you, how are you going to convince? Because I know, say, you know, the center on top of the retirees alone. The youth are also inclusive, right? So now, are you going to convince? Because all five is obviously, you know, say, now youth program, now we dance, and you will request for a song before I let you go anyways. So, are you going to convince oh, really? the youth? <laughs> are you going to convince the youth to also oh, watch? Okay, so like I said, you know, when I started talking about retiree, I said, when you sit down with them, they then tell you that, ah, how they wish they knew this. Hmm. So, for the youth, I will tell them, don't ever repeat that mistake. Why we have people that have gone ahead of us is for them to be able to cancel us. Experience is not the best teacher. At all. At all. Experience is not. Learning is, observation is. Do you understand? Mentoring is, but not experience. Mm. Don't wait to experience it. By the time you're experiencing you it, it's too late. Yeah. Hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. So let's learn, let's observe people that have gone ahead of us. So if they have made that mistake, I'm telling the youth, don't make the mistakes of our fathers. Mm. Don't make the mistakes of our mothers. Do the thing that they are regretting they did not do. Do it now. You mm. have the time. 
you know? And the thing with financial well-being is that the more time you have, the better position you have. In fact, yeah. as your time ticks, your situation gets worse. Hmm. How you can how you can change things, how you can turn around things becomes more and more difficult. So the youth are at a better position. Okay, they are at a better situation right now to begin to navigate their financial life. Okay. And one of some of the things we'll be teaching them are the habits to cultivate. Okay. Habits to cultivate to be financially free now and in future. Mm. The kind of tool they can be using. Okay. You know, to become financially free mm. now and in future. You know, the kind of jobs, the kind of aspirations they should, they have, should have, the kind of manners of, I mean, conducting themselves they should have, the, the leverage, I mean, the, the, the premium they should place, you know, on certain relationships. You know, things like that. And some of the things we'll be sharing with them okay. are total financial makeover. I, I mean, for me, eh, I can't wait for it. Because uh, we we seriously me, cannot eh, wait. <laughs> this we seriously is cannot that? wait to. We are seriously anticipating. You said, but when is it starting? This Wednesday, Abby? Wednesday, yes. This Wednesday from 5.30 to 6. From This Wednesday from 5.30 We'll start on 5.30. That's where we'll start. And then let them be with us. Okay, so if they have questions, you know, say so they figure questions, they won't make you help them answer on top okay. of the show, before the show. Okay. So how do they get to you? That's why I usually, I like the way we structure this show. Okay, okay. thank you for that question. It's a calling program. Okay, good. It's a calling program. So what we are going to be doing is, I will talk on something that is pivotal and important you know, for like a few minutes and allow people to call in with their financial challenges. Okay. And just guide them and advise them. Do you understand? Yes. So, from talking to someone, advising them, other people will be learning. Yeah. So, we'll okay. just take a topic of the day, discuss about that, and then open the phone lines. It's a, it's a calling program. Okay, so Mr. Neba, I am not going to allow you to spill everything because I need them to watch. <laughs> because definitely I will not miss it. That one is a sure thing. I'm not going to miss it because I'm so keen when it comes to investment, um, financial freedom and all of that. So I'm personally anticipating that. And uh, obviously when it comes from you and Web TV, trust me, I know it's always... It's always getting uh, shots. <laughs> I, okay, but we're still going to be seeing you on Tuesday, Sha. That one is proper. Of course, back of course. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. I've not left you. And, and you should realize that really, when we are talking about wealth or finances, real estate is a major part of it. Yeah. And you so, talked about landlords now. You can't talk about money without talking about properties. It's not possible. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah, sure. So, so, we've all not right. left property matter. We've not left property matter at all. Yeah, still and even yeah, on this whatever. <laughs> property is still one of the things we'll be talking about. You said what? I said you and Chief, you are still there. We are. You we are, are chasing we your landlord now, now you don't run away now. now no, you, I did not run. I'm still with you people. I am still here. Us. No, 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 at all. When God has the rush us, you, you, you leave us. God did. <laughs> it's, not ever, it's been a good one talking or speaking with you or skyping with you Thank anyone so uh Thank watch you. out for you on Thank tuesday you. and of course see you later on again wednesday evening on twitter yes. on instagram if they won't reach you yes on instagram on facebook youtube everywhere okay Mr. Neba, which song do you want to request for ah god you don't catch me oh, oh yeah which song which one are you vibing to now i know you're a jaya master which one are you vibing with right now Ah, Jaya, Jaya, the Lord, where they do? Eh, uh, uh, no, just. Uh, uh, which one? Which one? Okay, let me request for my wife. Ah. Huh? Oh yeah, which one? Oh. Which one? Do, which song does she like? Eh, uh, play me alone, me. I know it's old, ah. but just play me it on. Mr. Debo, I just told you now that yeah. my show is for the youth. <laughs> oh no, ah, me. Only... Uh, request for my wife. Okay, play me. Um, uh, what's this guy? Hey. So let me, let me give you let me give you see me let me give you see me let me give you duduke duduke eh hey, duduke okay, yeah, duduke is nice duduke is nice Abby yeah. okay so I'll give you duduke yeah. thank you so very much I'll see you on Tuesday Mr Debo have wow, a good weekend. Thanks.
Bye. Oh yeah, that obviously, and I'll be enjoying them because I be enjoy them so much. So guys, please anticipate starting on Wednesday from 5:30 to 6. You guys all of miss this financial breakthrough where Mr. Debo will introduce to you. All. Okay, so guys, I need to go. Thank you to everybody who will take out time to watch the show today. Uh, of course, it's, it was a journey, and um, I had an amazing time. You know, with everybody will be enjoying us on top of the show. So next week Saturday, yes, definitely I'll be here again. But remember to join us on Mondays, two Saturdays of the breakfast show, and the other thing that we're talking about.